I ended up, for complicated reasons, at the University of Southern Maine, part of the University of Maine system in uh, Portland, Maine. And I would say that what really was an incident, it wasn't like any huge incident, but the way, I'd always been a reader, but the way that that university uh, opened up my world, really. I uh, had a professor there, a mentor, a guy named Kenneth Rosen, who, a fine poet, who introduced me to this guy, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, in this book called A Hundred Years of Solitude. And I was like, wow, this is fantastic. And it opened up like Colombian writers, South American writers, Latino writers, hadn't really thought about it much. And then I was saying, wow, this is, this is something different. For the first time, I'd read a fair number of black writers uh, before, but I was really getting into the field of African American studies and African American literature in an organized way. And this, I said, wow, this not only is this really cool, this is not only not really fascinating, but I began to see, you know, when I looked at it in an organized way, precisely how, you know, not only what we might call the black experience and, you know, and an idea of black literature, but also a way in which I could see how this shaped the world that I was in as someone who is not African American. And I, and I thought, this is really a whole paradigm shift. I think James DeYoung got me more focused. He says, all right, it's a big world and there's a lot of stuff out there, but let, why don't you think about, you know, in this case, African-American literature, culture, politics, history, in an organized way, try to, and on its own terms, and not just be sort of like a, a tourist, but, uh, you know, saying, oh, you know, 30, you know, six cities in seven days kinds of tours, which is sort of what I've been doing before, even though it had been very exciting to me, but, you know, to do it in a kind of organized way. I think what I'm best at doing is trying to be supportive of students, both undergraduate and graduate students, in a way in which I hope I'm inspiring them some, but I'm also trying to figure out what is it that they're interested in? What is their particular enthusiasm? If they're graduate students writing a dissertation what, or, uh, or master's students writing a thesis, what is it that they want to do? And then uh, assuming that I think that the project is, is worth doing, or you know, because sometimes I say maybe you should go back to the drawing board and rethink that a little bit, uh, trying to help them do the project that they want to do the best they can. Oh, it's incredibly important. I mean, obviously it's important in terms of skills, in terms of training people uh, in a very practical, technical, material sense to, to engage uh, with the new technologies, the new kinds of uh, work situations and so forth. Mm -hmm.